Hi, it's Anika from Living for Later, and today I just wanted to share with you on how I use my whiteboard or how I use a whiteboard to keep me organized. I know that they have a lot of different systems out there to kind of keep track of your lists throughout the day. And, you know, you can plug things in your phone. Uh, they, they have different apps. But for me, I have found that an old school whiteboard has really done the job um, for me to kind of keep my thoughts together and to keep track of what I need to do throughout the day. So this I bought from Walmart. And what I did was I posted it on the inside of my kitchen wall. So it's not really an eyesore. The only way you see this is if you're inside my kitchen and in a specific location of the kitchen. So it's kind of hidden. hidden. Um, so what I did was this one I got from Walmart and I mounted it on the wall um, and it's really a monthly calendar. But what I did was I went ahead and I made it into my own weekly calendar. So on the top, I just kind of put, you know, the week, the dates for the week above. And then what I typically do is when I, you know, come down in the morning, I write down all the things that I feel like I need to do for that specific day. So on the list, I, you know, will put first what I have to clean, um, then what I have to cook. And then I have like a section where I put the things that I need to look on the computer. Maybe I have to um, order something online and I tend to forget or have it written in some place and I can't remember where it is. So I try to write it all down, the phone calls that I need to make perhaps, or you know, the emails that I need to send. So I try to put it all on here and you know, it's not complete sentences of course, but I put like just little things on there to kind of get my memory going. I'm like, oh yeah, I need to send this email to this teacher or whatever the case may be. And what I do is on the bottom right here is while I have a master calendar, um, a yearly calendar uh, on the wall of my pantry, I have found that it's helpful to see what's going on that specific week. So what I do is I'll go look at the master calendar and I'll write below all the things that we have to do that week and the time. I used to do it in different colors. I used to have, you know, the what I'm cooking, what I'm cleaning, but my kids got a whole of my dry erase marker, go figure, so it's all in black. Nevertheless, I still know what's going on. So what I do is I write it on the bottom, and then as I complete a task for the day, I go through and I cross it out. And this is really nice um, for me because I'm really big and inter, um, big on record keeping. So this is kind of like an informal way for me to keep track of what I've done um, throughout the week. And it's kind of nice to, you know, at the end of the week to kind of look up and go, hey, you know, I did this, I did that, or I need to revisit this. So what I'll do is, as you look up here, not everything is crossed off. So what I'll do is what I didn't, the task that I did not complete from the previous day, I carry it over into the following day. And that's kind of nice because sometimes I forget, but it's right here. So it helps me to remember. And I have been known to go to do a task that was not on the board and I'll go back <laughs> and actually um, write it on the board and cross it out. Yes, I do. It just helps me to know, hey, you know what? I did this. Also, if you look over here, it's, it's kind of like my grocery list. When I go in the pantry or go in the refrigerator and go, oh, we're out of this, I just write it on the um, whiteboard right here. And then what I do is when I make my master list at the end of the week, I can go ahead and um, copy whatever is on here onto that master list. So if, you know, it's not just groceries, it's stuff that I need to get on at Walmart. And we have a refrigerator downstairs um, in the basement and I'm notorious for forgetting what I put in that refrigerator. So what I've done is I'll write down, especially if it's something perishable, what's in the refrigerator downstairs so that I don't go at the end of the week and go, oh, I totally forgot about this. So this is extremely helpful. Now, you may be wondering what this is down here. Forgive the background noise. I have my young ones that just woke up from their nap and I was hoping that they would stay asleep. Nevertheless, if you can ignore them, so can I. Right here, we have a... Um, this is the old whiteboard that I used to use. And my daughter, Naomi, who is also into writing, decided to use this 
as um, a thing for a week, a weekly newsletter for the family. So each week she'll write a newsletter for us. And then please. Hi. This is Isaiah. Say hello. 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 And Faith is crawling up as well. So I think that this post has come to the end. What I was trying to say about this is that she'll yeah. write a little newsletter and um, people can write their comments. And it's kind of nice because when I go to write down my task for the week, I have a chance to kind of read what Naomi has written. And it serves as a source of encouragement for me. So again, I am absolutely done because I don't want to retake this. So leave me any comments that you may have on what you have done to help to keep you organized. Hope this helps. Bye-bye.